All right, we are out in Roman Forest today, which is, uh, I think it technically falls under New Candy's jurisdiction, but a little un unincorporated area, I think. Anyway, <clears throat> we've got bees up here in this soffit. And I think, looking at it, I think it's vinyl siding, I hope. I hope it's not aluminum, but it's one or the other um, in the soffit, which is the first time I've ever had to take down this sort of soffit. So I've done a little looking around and research, trying to figure out how to do it. I think it'll be okay. Uh, a lot of videos on how to put it up. Couldn't find that many videos on how to take it down. Whoopsie. Camera's not wanting to focus. Anyway, it's kind of chilly this morning. It's about 60 degrees. The bees aren't being too flighty. Uh, but they were plenty active the other day when I was here to look at it. Um, and they they apparently attacked the lawn guys over here, which is how they were discovered in the first place. So we're going to get up there and take a good look at it. Um, figure out what I got to do to start taking this soffit down and I've got Trevor with me today So he's helping get the smoker and everything get the vacuum going and we'll get after it So let me climb up there and see what we gotta do So I was just going to show you guys what I had to do to take down this uh, vinyl soffit. It's vinyl, not aluminum. The trim is aluminum, but the soffit underneath is vinyl. And I think so far I actually like this stuff better than just a standard uh, hardy plank. I mean, hardy plank, sure, you just cut right through it and you're in. So that part's good. But I like that I can disassemble this one and should be able to put it back together with almost no, no evidence. I can disassemble. I can cut this plank behind. It does have some probably masonite behind. Uh, but I'll be able to patch the masonite and then put this vinyl back over it and have it look really nice. Anyway, um, this aluminum trim on the outside, all it has is these little bitty trim nails, which are kind of hard to get behind uh, with a nail puller, but I've got use my hive tool as a flat pry bar. You can get in behind there and actually kind of lift these a little bit with the metal without ripping it. So <clears throat> all it was was trim nails to get the aluminum off, and then that exposes the end of your vinyl. And I want to make this video because I found a lot of videos on how to put up this vinyl. Couldn't find any on how to take it down. Um, but it exposes the ends. And then this little hook here goes over this lip. You guys can watch videos on vinyl siding and see how that works. But I don't have the little proper zip tool. But with my hive tool here, it's pretty close. I can get up on this lip. And it's just enough that I can loosen it and get it to pop out. Now that it's vinyl, so it's a little forgiving. If it was aluminum, I'd be afraid I'd bend it. Um, but anyway, I'm able to get that broke loose. And then each piece has just a little broadhead nail here or two. Uh, one, a couple pieces only have one nail on this little nailer strip. But same thing, I can get my hive tool right under this lip, slide over right by that nail and, and pull it out of there. So we're gonna get this down. We're then gonna cut open our soffit and we should be able to get to our bees. The bees are right there. You can see them, Oop, one just zipped out, but right there in that corner, like I said, they're a little slow this morning, a little cold, but and yeah, I want to show you guys how to remove that, how to take that down. It, it comes down actually really, really well so far. I've been really happy. Hope they don't jinx it. This is, yeah, that's vinyl siding there too if we have to take the siding down. So anyway, it all, you know, <clears throat> it all just kind of snaps together. And then you've got those little trim nails as the last application to, to button it all up real nice and tight.
All right, so this uh, changed dramatically. We were outside working through the soffit until we discovered that they weren't in the soffit at all. They were crawling in behind the siding, through the soffit, and then through a loose corner on this outside piece of um, foam board. And they're in this, uh, basically just a stud wall between two pieces of foam board. So we ended up having to come back inside and go through brick, which sucks. But you can see there's just absolutely no way to, to go from the outside. We would have been taken off. Uh, they had the, the vinyl siding was over top of hardy board siding, actually. Um, and we would have had to do a whole lot more destruction on the outside. Plus, it would have opened the house up to weather. Whereas in here, we are up in a front porch. So just finished knocking out brick. We're down to the bottom. You can see there's the bottom of the combs there. Um, so we're going to start cutting off a couple little scraps there on the bottom and opening this thing up back in bees and see if we can't find our queen. Well, the fun continues. I think, Trevor, I think Trevor's gotten stung like three times now. You gonna give me a bucket? Yeah. Where'd your gloves go? Go sit in the truck if you have to to put them on. Anyway, so hive turned out to be way bigger than I thought, but you know, that's part of the fun of this job. So I've already cut out a big old chunk of honey that was all right here in front. The bees are going a little nuts though because they started robbing. Uh, but you can see obviously we got a good chunk of brood comb here. We're still vacuuming bees, looking for the queen. I have gotten down to the very bottom, so we've started working our way up. The bees down there on that bottom chunk are being pretty calm, so I'm hoping mama's down there somewhere. Um, but I'm also watching just random spots where the bees are starting to cluster up. It's it's really hard to tell when they do this when they start robbing because you start to get clustering anywhere there's a drip of honey and you get confused and think it might be the queen, but I think most of it's just honey in this case. So anyway, I'm gonna keep working our way up. I'm gonna try to take off that bottom chunk again now, uh, and then I'll start taking off this upper sheet. But you can see they were they were in this stud space between two pieces of aluminum board or uh, foam board. They chewed out pretty much all of this front piece of foam board, and now they're in this extra space out here, uh, which is behind the um, the hardy siding, I believe. So anyway, keep working our way up and keep looking for that clean. All right, so we finally got it all out of here. And this hive, holy moly, this turned out to be way more than I thought it was. When I peeked in from the top, I thought it was just a nice new little hive, no big deal. I almost debated trying to you know, cut and lift it all out the top there, but I tried on the first piece and it was too soft and I couldn't. So come around this side and open up the brick and these combs were all the way down in, uh, you guys can't see, but down in there, there was combs all over on this side over here. There was combs back in on that side over there. They had totally chewed out uh, the silver board that was in this mm -hmm. space right here. They had totally chewed it out, leaving just the foil, but all the foam was gone. Um, so yeah, I think we filled every bucket that we had. We got five or six buckets full of comb that we took out of here. Um, but anyway, I have sprayed everything down in here with Be Quick. We're running them out the top, and we're gonna go ahead and set a, <laughs> a bait hive up uh, with a piece of bird comb on the outside. I never did see the cleaner catcher, but we're gonna try to at least set up a bait hive anyway, see if we can't catch all these bees out of here. Right now, there's this crazy robbing frenzy going on. They're not attacking my glove. They are getting honey off my glove. Um, so there's a big mess of robbers that came in, which is odd, because this time of year, robbing really shouldn't be that common, but they sure are going after it. Anyway, let's get that bait hive set up and then we'll be picked up and out of here for today. We'll come back and get it later. All right, so here's how we leave it for now. With this crazy uh, redneck ladder set up, but that's actually the little scaffold that we built to start when we started taking down the siding on the outside. Um, just use the step ladder on the outside here. Um, sorry, my phone's acting stupid. Anyway, just had the extension ladder for the outer end of the scaffold, two by 12, and then the step ladder on top. But I've put a box up there with a little bit of swarm lure and two of the brood combs in it. We never did see the queen or catcher, so she's not in there, but my hope is that anybody that's left up there, uh, anybody that's left up there that's still looking will find that box and we'll come back in a day or two in the evening and uh, take it down. That's the plan. So for now, we're picking up, cleaning up, and we're out of here. The bees, Bees that are in the back box, we'll take them home, we'll set them up as a swarm.